Hello. Ah, ah, uh, uh, ah. No, no ah. you're not live yet. <laughs> no, you're Shut not live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hello. And welcome. Next game. Next game. <laughs> <laughs> Professional streamers set up. Woo! Yeah, hey everyone. Uh, this is not Deus Ex, uh, it's Tomb Raider. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't practiced at all, <laughs> so <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Uh, and without talking too much, uh, let's go. Start. Time. Also, uh, you, will, you will see this, you will see this uh, weird uh, hair glitch. Um, there's a fun thing. Also, no gravity. Gravity is just an illusion. Uh, this is how I submitted this game. And <laughs> the, the thing is, because we're playing this game uncapped, um, the, the more powerful your PC is, <laughs> the more the, um, the game will break. So in this case, because we have a super nice graphics card, the game will have really weird glitches. But don't mind them. I mean, this is not a glitch. This is just um, out of bounds. So as you can see, we have something called the airwalk. Uh, it's basically defy gravity by skipping an animation when Lara is stumbling, there is a check which is normally getting triggered to see if she is hitting the floor or not. And to not, well, let Lara drop while the animation is playing, the physics are off in that moment. So we can bu abuse that state by pulling out the weapons and then the animation will never be finished. So the game is like in that state where it says like, oh yeah, you're still in an animation even though you're not. And because of that, we can just walk in air and defy ah. physics. Uh, also, there are bats. And <laughs> I love the hair. It's, go it's gonna be great. And as you can see, I will mostly roll to the side. Uh, this is basically because uh, it's faster. Also, I think I'm dumb. Um, I was not supposed to... Okay, never mind. That's okay. Yeah, okay. Because if you do a swan dive there, normally you will be not uh, able to roll up uh, for some reason. But it's, it still worked fine. Also, I'm too bad for this skip, so I'm just gonna grab, grab this. Uh, not saving a second. Imagine that in a speedrun. Also, uh, I'm Heinke, and this is Kadarev. <laughs> yes, I'm also here. I, I ran this like five years ago, <laughs> so I'm up to date on all the strats. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but what Heinke said is uh, usually we... Hey. we <laughs> I can I can save some time. It's okay. Um, <laughs> usually we roll sideways. It's not quite technically the super fastest way. That would be like um, mashing like the backwards handsprings. But since we can't see where we're going, pretty much, it's only really useful if you have very long straight lines. Uh, otherwise, we go for the angle sideways uh, rolls. And uh, here we need to get past this gate that is locked. You're supposed to hit some switches, but we will not do that. Also, can we? <laughs> this is just a fun idea which popped up. I don't think oh. we can do that. Oh no! <laughs> can we get an in donation incentive so that Kara can finish the run? <laughs> just, just figure out how to do this at the end. <laughs> I think we want to go underestimate, not overestimate. Nah, it's totally fine. I, I submitted a very high <laughs> uh, estimate, so it's totally okay. Also, very good friendly bear. And what we're uh, no, uh, what we're gonna do here is a uh, checkpoint abuse. So below us, yeah, there you go. Below us is. Uh, yeah. So in the void, uh, this <laughs> next checkpoint extends oh, no. extremely far. Um, so far that right. we can like drop out of bounds there and hit the. Pull your weapons. Why can't you pull your weapons? Sir? I've that never right? done it on this thing, so I always don't do it on the, the stairs. Or I did do it on this. Thing. Okay, it's fine. I'll do all yeah. straight. Also, very <laughs> stuck. It's don't worry about it. So normally what I do is I <laughs> pull your weapons Two. out, Lara, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Normally what you would do there is jump on the switch and then go out of bounds over the fence. If that doesn't work, it's fine. You ha you can airwalk, so you just jump up there, trigger the airwalk, and then you go over here. So it's not a big deal, but it's it's nicer and it looks cooler and it saves like seven seconds if you can do it correctly. But this is totally fine. As I said, I didn't practice at all, so this is okay. Yeah. So one thing with the airwalk is. Um, without any level geometry, you just maintain your height. Um, so to gain height, we need to know which uh, geometry we can uh, do that on. So it's not always what it looks like. So, for example, also here it doesn't match at actually here. <laughs> yeah, if you're like s okay. slightly not high enough, you like bonk there. Yeah. But for example, you wouldn't guess that in this specific corner you could gain height for some reason. 
Um, and the opposite is also true. If you want to lose height, you need to find a angled surface on top of you so you can like run into it. Um, so that's like one big part of the speedrun is knowing where to go to gain or lose height. Yeah. Um, and you maintain the air walk as long as you hold out your weapons and are moving. So if you stop moving or if you let go of the uh, hold weapon key, then you immediately drop down like that. There are also some other things like if you go into water or get hit by a knockback attack. But yeah, I mean, yeah, those are more obvious. Yeah. Uh, as I mentioned before, like as long since we're in this animation state or where the game basically saves the animation state, the gravity is not getting triggered. Uh, also, there is another category, or what we're calling, or what we're doing is called no bug jump, which is basically what you're seeing right now. There is a jump which allows you to gain height, and which you can do infinitely, so you can just basically walk in the air by just doing that. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was loud. Um, it's fine for me. So. I mean, it... <laughs> uh, my ears are getting blown out, but it's it's totally fine. I I barely hear anything. It's it's what what? No, oh, it's okay. okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. I was no. Uh, okay. I mean, it's uh, it's okay. I can do it like this. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So maintaining the air walk through like these level end screens is a bit trickier because obviously the game wants you to like stop there. So you have to like hold one mouse button and use the other one to progress through the menu without dropping it. Um, here is a rare instance where we want to clip underneath geometry to go out of bounds. So this one is a bit trickier. Uh, um, I could have just tried again, but uh, it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. In general, you want to like forward roll to clip underneath geometry and backward handspring or side roll to clip over geometry. So here we want to like roll forwards and there you then go. immediately switch to backwards roll. Yeah. So here we do a lot of skipping. So this is a bit of a hard trigger. So normally, if you just Go over here, uh, this boulder will roll down and kill you, but if you hit the trigger outside of it, just barely, you can go inbounds and it will never trigger, which means we can just finish the level without doing any of the puzzles. Also, if you think we're gonna do any puzzles, we will not do them. So we'll skip most of the game through going out of bounds. Also, it looks easy, and it is <laughs> in certain ways I was easy. About to say. Um, <laughs> but there are certain tricks which are gonna be pretty tough to execute. You will see that later on. Also, do I have my airwalk? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I yeah, was like not sure because it didn't look like I got it. Yeah, the basic movement, like the airwalk and stuff, that's pretty easy. So it's actually also a good game to start out with, like speedrunning wise. But obviously, like with most or all games, like perfecting it and optimizing it is where the time yeah. investment comes into the play. So that's that. Um, oh, Jesus, my ears. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Do you want my headset? No, no, it's okay. Why, why is it suddenly so loud? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I will do it in a moment. I, I don't want to waste time. No, no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just. <laughs> um, yeah. So this game has a lot of uh, QTs. Um. <laughs> no, no, don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> Um, I said it's fine. It's yeah, fine. so the directions you have to press for the QTs, it's, they're always the same. However, you cannot mash the inputs. In the predecessor to this game, you could do that. So you were just mashing inputs before they even appeared. In this game, you can't, then it just gives you a fail. So like, there is like super slight optimization potential by hitting the QT inputs like as soon as possible, but it's also unnecessary risk. So yeah. usually also, just wait. Um, there is one thing I didn't do. You can normally um, old F4 during cutscenes like that. This is a legit strat, which allows you to skip the cutscenes. But I never practice that, so I'm not gonna um, just do it and crash a game or something. Yeah. So, so old F4 doesn't immediately quit out of the game. It brings up like a an extra pop-up screen that asks if you want to to exit, and that's what we're abusing. Yeah. And this is one of the longest level casual playing because <laughs> you need to get four <laughs> keys in these side areas that all have puzzles behind them, um, but we will not do that. Yeah, this is the greatest skip. So first of all, swan dive into your death, and then easy peasy just roll over here. So What? Yeah, <laughs> okay. High frame rate and drop. <laughs> so now this is a little of a setup. So we're going to swap. Swatch, uh, switch weapons, then we do a handstand, and then we die. <laughs> okay, so I need to do it again. But this is pretty precise. What we can do with a handstand while being on a certain corner is allowing us to get out of bounds. And we're going to abuse that by skipping this huge level. There is an old strat where you use bats to gain height and such, but we're not going to do that anymore. Aww. And this is more... Yeah, oh, sorry. The only strat I know. It's so, uh, good. <laughs> so we're going to abuse a different strat by doing this. And then I need to... Ah! No, 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 no. It, it kind of worked, but it didn't work. So, 
So I needed to do that, but while taking out my shotguns. So we need to do that because there's another glitch coming up, which is called the fall damage cancel. By swapping weapons repeatedly and then using the grappling hook, you can um, cancel fall damage. And we need to do that so we survive. So first of all, once again, come on. Size angle, come on. Oh, come on. This is, this is what I need, but out of bounds. And also, this is a nicer setup. <laughs> I can yeah. still hear the game and everything. Okay. Yeah, so the um, the hand like the handstand get up um, allows you to clip through a collision on your left, usually, since like Lara goes in that direction first. Um, and we have to do this in a very precise spot here, because if we're too far left, she doesn't do the handstand at all. And if you're too far right, then she doesn't clip through. Yeah. Don't mind it. Let's l just. I'll try it another two times if, uh, if I can't. Strats, old strats, old strats. <laughs> I haven't done, I mean, okay, so the thing is, like, I learned this game recently, again, last year, and I haven't done the old strats <laughs> for five years, so... Sounds familiar. <laughs> I will not do that. Okay, I'll give it another try, then I just use a safe hold. It's not a big Aww. deal. Yeah, it kind of sucks that I can't show it off, but it's, it's okay, it's okay. This is not a PB pace or anything. Maybe it is. My run was pretty old and bad. Oh no, wait, I beat last year. <laughs> there was something, I forgot. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Lara, come on. Okay, I give it one more try. <laughs> I, I just want to see her die again. This is That's definitely the <laughs> last try. <laughs> last try before first try or something. Okay. Shotgun. Handstand. Oh, okay, whatever. It's fine. So imagine we did all of this and uh, this one. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, and now so we're that's in the, the <laughs> gate we would have clipped behind. Yeah, and this is like the gate we would skip. So what we would do is we go out of bounds. We do the fall damage cancel, and then we just jump in bounds again at this place, um, and then it, the game would just continue. So as a, it's totally fine. Just continue. Whoop. I'm also slightly worried are those still the save files I created like five years ago and uploaded to speedrun.com or are these new files I don't even know? I, I think those are the old files. Oh god. But uh, <laughs> you don't need to worry about it because we don't need to use medkits at all yeah. besides in the water section where we are right now. And also beautiful hair. Mm -hmm. I wish I could put it that down. <laughs> uh, oh. Lara, please, stand up. Yeah, so here you're supposed to do a bit of... Lara, please! It's fine. <laughs> High frame rate. It's always always fun in this game. Yeah, so here yeah, there's okay. supposed to be a bit of climbing and stuff, but obviously air walking takes care of that. And then we're in the Colosseum, and we will instantly run out of it, but that's actually not really a skip. Like, you can do that. Like, there is no glitch involved here. You can just go to this ledge and run away from these uh, enemies. However, what we what we do afterwards to complete this level is definitely a skip slash uh, glitch. So this would take quite a while. You would have to get multiple keys and then get to the top level huh? here. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Someone dared to talk with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. This is even better. I can hear I can hear everyone. I know what you're saying. So <laughs> Hello. Do you have time? Uh, yeah, sure. So, <laughs> donations, I mean. We have uh, five dollars from uh, Seven Scrum Master Seven, donating for Caddy to finish the run <laughs> since it's his favorite game. You're welcome. <laughs> also, a small reminder that Hanky is more agile than Lara. <laughs> then, uh, twenty-five dollars from uh, Quellish. I will always donate to idiots that torture themselves with to Tomb Raider games. Enjoy the best, gentlemen. Thank you very Thank much, you. Quellish. Sir. 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 Uh, yeah, you may have seen there, uh, if you do swan dives on downward slopes, you can get a pretty <laughs> nice boost on uh, high FPS. I don't know what you're talking about. However... But, but aren't you going <laughs> the stairs down like that? <laughs> the inverse is sadly also true on high FPS, so if you try to swan dive up on upward slopes, uh, yeah, then you get pushed down pretty far, to the extent that it's not even worth to go for it, uh, so it's kind of a trade-off. Luckily, in general, we go downwards, not upwards. Yeah. Here you can see some nice out of bounds swimming. Since we dropped into the water out of bounds, you just have to hit the loading trigger for the next part so you can stay yeah. out of bounds. So we normally know where the loading triggers are, 
And how the game works is basically if you. Woo! That was a bad. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I was. I was pretty sure I was far. <laughs> Far enough on the left side. It's okay. But now you're in burns, so uh, it's it's, a f it's okay. Oh, so right. this is, okay. yeah, it's totally fine. Like this slightly is skipping ahead, but I will not mention that. Actually, I think. Oh wait, I yeah, high you enough. need to get with the fight. Yeah, exactly. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> so normally uh, we would be out of bounds in this section, but because it didn't work and I, w I fell into my death, uh, we're just gonna do that here. But uh, what you can do with the loading triggers is that if you're, if you know the locations and you, oops, <laughs> don't mind me. Um, if you know the location and you hit them, you can deload the previous scene and load the next one, and that's what we abused there. So we're out of bounds. We know that the trigger extends a tiny bit to the right of the map or of a wall, and so we can just hit it and stay out of bounds and load the next part. If we don't do that, the next chunk won't load, and you will not be... What? Okay, fine. sure. I have PS. <laughs> just, just climb on water. I, I would love to do that too. So we can just load the next area and go there out of bounds and just finish the game or continue with the game without doing it the proper way. So that's great. Speaking of out of bounds, hopefully he <laughs> well, I, yeah, that's how you also lose air walking by jumping. Of course. But yeah. I just wanted to demonstrate it. So. <laughs> We're approaching the end of the second level, which is uh, Greece, in, in case you couldn't tell, obviously. Oh, we're in Greece? Ah. <laughs> I thought they were just random lions and gorillas in an old coliseum. Like yeah, makes sense, right? How do they survive? <laughs> um, nobody knows, but it's totally fine. But yeah, there will be a, actually a boss fight here at the end of the after level, um, and you're supposed to like swim in the next area to uh, open the gate that we can see in the distance there. But hopefully this time we can <laughs> stay out of bounds. <laughs> it's fine. It's or fine. go I back out of bounds rather. <laughs> I haven't I haven't practiced that, so I I also remember old strats, so it's totally <laughs> fine. So normally what you can do is you can just backhand spring up here, or not? I only remember this that you stay out of bounds, so I would do old strats at this point, but maybe there are new strats that I'm not aware of. So no, Normally you can just um, row here or... No a idea. <laughs> okay. I can't remember either. Was it here? No. No, definitely not. <laughs> Come on, Lara. I want to go out of bounds, please. Bliss. Okay, can I get out of bounds? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Not sure, did I gain height or lose height? Okay, old strats. Yeah, we'll um, <laughs> just go for old strats. <laughs> what was it? Um, I don't know if you can actually do it still with an air walk here. Should be able to, yeah, and then just around this corner. But, around this? but hug the wall, yeah. Around this one? Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, there you go. Yeah, there you go, okay. See, no problem, no problem. <laughs> Old runner meets new runner. <laughs> no, well, I'm, not, new no runner. I, I'm not a new runner anymore. <laughs> Never mind. I am yeah, so old at this point. Another QT here. And this is the shortest one. Yeah. It's like two. <laughs> yeah. The hair stays. The cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> She's still getting damage because the, the hair. The yeah, hitbox, yeah. hurt box, obviously. <laughs> the hitbox is still there. Actually, this will be interesting. Like, yeah, that was a bad mistake. <laughs> Centaurs on high <laughs> FPS. Good luck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so oh, the gimmick with this fight is the centaurs have like these petrifying gazes and they also have very reflective shields. What? So oh, okay. it's okay. Um, you can see beneath their health bar they have a smaller bar which is their adrenaline bar and once that is full they will do what? a special charge attack at you or they will do their petrifying gaze. Oh, we're always uh, alternatingly, so the idea no. is to use their shield that you first knock out of their hands to then uh, launch the petrifying gaze back at them so they get petrified and then you can actually damage them. Um, and yeah. these adrenaline dodge rolls, they're also basically somewhat of a QTE. You have to wait until the screen slows down and then you can choose which direction you want to adrenaline dodge in. Yeah, so I, I try to one-cycle them by getting the Senator without the shield. Or with, with a, shield a shield to, yeah. <laughs> Dude! Intercepted. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> uh, to just insta kill him, but that didn't work. So, this is a good uh, Senator fight already. Uh, but it, it, it's okay. Yeah, we also have different weapons at this point. So, you always have to, well, not always, but if you have weapons, then the default is the. Oh! the grey default pistols. You have, as you can see, infinite ammo, but a magazine of 40. 40, sorry. Then we. Just now picked up the magnum, which is the magnums, which are the black pistols. They work the same, but deal way more damage, and that's what we usually use to one cycle these centaurs. And then there's the shotgun, which 
probably self-explanatory deals a lot more damage up close than from far away. Um, ammo, I'm not sure how it is nowadays, but it used to be rooted pretty tightly. Um, but we don't actually fight that many enemies. Uh, many yeah. enemies. So oh. normally if you do the one cycle trick and it works, you just use the magnum shots and you use the... Um, the shotgun to just get them immediately into the damage meter, but it didn't work at all. So uh, there's another cool trick. You just need to spam your shooting as fast as possible so that they just die. If you don't do it fast enough, then you can't one cycle them. That's important to know, but it's not a big deal. So here we are gonna do also kind of like a new strat. Like, well, new strat, but I'm gonna try it. Now I'm curious. If if, if it's oh, not it's gonna, the aisle strat, right. yeah. If, yeah, if yeah, it's yeah. if it's not working, then I'm just gonna do the old strat because it's safer, or well, not safer, but it's easier to execute. This strat is pretty tight when it comes to doing your jump, and if you can't do it or you didn't practice it, like, well, me who didn't do a run in like half a year, um, yeah, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is what happens: you just fall out of bounds and you die. That's but also one thing you may have seen, whenever we fall into the void, we don't wait until our dies because she won't die. She just falls like forever, so we have to quit out and, and resume yeah. game. So let's do it again. Whoop. Get up here. Just go into the corner, then you do a jump, so you are climbing out of bounds, and then you just go... Something like that, maybe? I haven't done this in a while. I have never done this, actually. Oh, never mind, I fell off. <laughs> but it's okay, I'll just go with the old strat, because... Um... <laughs> the classic TRA experience. Um, yeah, so e we're in Egypt right now, this is the third out of four levels. Um, and it has a pretty interesting level structure in that the part of the final segment of this level is behind the gate on the left, but in casual play you're not supposed to go there. You're supposed to go into that sphinx you can see there on the left, and that takes you to a huge, like, separate level. But since the final level is already right there, we can just skip over the gate and skip most of the Egypt level yeah. in one go. Luckily, we have just a technique to do that. So on this ledge, you can get a pretty high air walk. And as it just so turns out, like you can go out of bounds here. Yeah. Also, this is the section we would be out of bounds with the newer strat. But because it didn't work, I'm doing the old strat. And also, I'm going to do a fall damage cancel by dropping down. And dying. <laughs> I guess no fall damage cancel. Um, I don't know what happened, but it, it's okay. I'll just do it again. There are also different ways to do the fall damage cancel. That was the one that I don't use. Like you can do it with reloading, or you can do it with weapon switching. I usually do the one with reloading, or I used to do the one with reloading. Um, so we have to actually um, touch that door from the other side, basically, because yeah, as you saw, the next part of the level isn't loaded yet until we are pretty much right up front against that gate. So that's why we uh, can't go further ahead. Like the nice thing with the new strat, you will be inbounds again, but you still have your air walk, so you don't need to do the puzzle in the next section, and you can just literally go up uh, immediately and skip an entire bunch. If you can do it first try, I think it saves like 40 seconds, which is like huge compared to this strat, but this is also easier to do, and if you're a new runner, I will definitely recommend you to do there you uh, go, yeah. this strat. Yeah, I guess I didn't scroll hard enough. It's okay. So also I'm just gonna kill them because I yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't like this section at all, as you can see. So these mummies, they have like the melee attack, you can see them using right now. They also, especially later on, will more yeah, frequently use the fireball attack that also knocks you back. So not recommended to do air walking or anything close to them. And also they play have this adrenaline attack like most enemies do in this game. Oh, I can just do this. Okay. And also there's another mummy downstairs, but it's just stuck there. So yeah. don't worry about it. Okay, I'll I'll try to do the other fancy skip. So what you can do is if you do these puzzles, you trigger a cutscene, but if you're fast enough, you can jump on the pillar and get levitated up so you don't need to... And... Nice. Yeah, I did it! <laughs> I haven't done this in five years or something. Cool. <laughs> Old man remembers strats, nice. All right, but it doesn't matter because now we can climb up here and this is the entire part we would be already if we would have gotten the new strat. Also, I'm just going up here because I can't remember anymore. So this is like the next out of bounds part. So there are these pillars. Um, the world record runner 
is literally just doing a jump there and getting out of bounds. So it is very risky. It saves maybe one second to get the out of bounds, um, the air walk there. And if you fail, you just die. But he doesn't care. Also, shoutouts to Brino. Uh, why didn't you take your <laughs> weapons out? Come on. Okay. It's fine. I just need to do the checkpoint again. So what we do there is, like, I got the jump, but the problem was I couldn't get the weapons out, so we would just be out of bounds immediately. So we need to do this again, but it's not a big deal since the checkpoint is just in, on top of the Sphinx. Yeah, so this is another part where you can barely you see it there at the bottom. We would have to insert like two Ankh uh, like items that we would collect in the side areas, but why do that when you can just skip over them? <laughs> and that here again you can see the, the boosts you get from uh, swan diving down slopes. Yeah. So the next part is pretty good as well. Uh, so, normally you have like a bit of fighting which you need to do and then like a bit of a climbing section where you need to figure out how to get to the relics and such but we're gonna skip that entirely by getting the perfect height from here and then we're just gonna go over and put two artifacts into the wall and then we can immediately leave. This is great also because we know the geometry of this level and it's literally just walking a straight line for quite a while. Uh, well, that was too early. You can just do this. And also, it, uh, it gives us the advantage that the AI is not getting triggered yet, because the moment they see you, they get ag aggressive, and we try to avoid it just so we don't get shot down. There, as you can see, there are like, some of them, and there are also some senators. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> nice walk in there. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so luckily the key items you need for these sockets, they're the ones you get at the end of the previous two levels, so you always have these. Uh, yep. You don't need to collect them. So then we just do an air walk here. No, I think it's the no. other one. No. 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 <laughs> there says no. Okay, and then like, oops. Wrong direction. Just have to get in there. Hey. Ooh, okay. okay. And of course another QTE. Yeah, because QTEs are nice. Yeah. And then we're in the final level. Uh, the Lost <laughs> Island. Look at this aiming. <laughs> Speaking of good aiming. <laughs> this guy. The hair. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just literally put it on, and Lara was screaming. I was like, nope. <laughs> I, I put it back. <laughs> it's fine. I, I didn't do any setup, so that's it's mine. It's mine. Yeah, so here the gimmick is like they took away your weapons. And oh, no. If you, like. Remember, we need the weapons to do airwalks. We're a normal woman now, how yeah. can you? <laughs> so, no cheating allowed, pretty much, for this first part. What do you mean cheating? Um, Don't you run on, on thin air? Come on. Well, not in the games that I run. <laughs> actually, what do you but mean? whatever. <laughs> that is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so um, they actually took away our weapons, or the, the pistols. The rest of our weapons are somehow scattered across level, but the pistols stayed placed in a container right at the start of the next uh, segment. And you're supposed to collect three fuses to like steer a crane and drop a, another container on top of the container they're um, located in. However, we can also just ignore all of that and grab the pistol so you can see they're through the wall by using our, our grappling hook, which slightly extends our uh, grab range if we use it at the correct time. You can see like the pickup icon in the lower right. And then you basically just you mash uh, pick up and you can pick them up and with weapons in our possession we can uh, airwalk again and skip the rest of this part. Yeah. What? Uh, nice rolling there. A bit wonky here if you want to roll underneath. Also you see a sick uh, secret there but we don't care about these in, in this category. It's not a no all secret run. <coughs> yeah. So we just go out of bounds. Also, you see lava. So there's a little fun fact. The lava is out of bounds, but if you touch it, you still die. So if you air walk into that, you die. So you need to still be careful where it is placed. Also, I need to go here to hit a trigger and then what? drop into not my death. Yeah. And, and just get weapons here. Yeah. yeah these are the magnums again. And uh, that's how <laughs> lava behaves. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Why did you just run into the lava? Okay. But now at least you're already on a better height to get an airwalk. So don't have to. Can you do this? Oh yeah, you can. I've never tried that. <laughs> Improvisation, my friends. All right. 
There you go. That's what I wanted to do. Lava yeah. and span, okay? And luckily there are also just a few slopes here we can use to get some height and then we can like grab this. One thing you saw there is you can grab ledges out of airwalks, but it actually requires somewhat specific timing that can be a bit tricky at the start when you learn this game. Yeah. But so it's, it's basically required because especially somewhat soon we will be in a, <laughs> in a pretty room. Infamous, <laughs> ro infamous room where that is required to uh, get to the top. The it's run, the extreme run killer, yeah. especially for newbies. Exactly. Like it, we actually call it the vertical room because that's pretty much all there is. It's like complete vertical movement. Um, if you use bug jumps, which we don't, it's somewhat trivial because you just mash bug jump and get to the top. But without those, since we can't gain height easily using the airwalk there, um, yeah, you have to actually yeah. do it in bounds and grab ledges. And that can be pretty difficult if you're not very good with the timing and the fl floor is literally lava. So whenever you fail to grab a ledge, you die and go back. Yeah, and there's like literally no checkpoint. So if you if you fail it at almost at the end, or you're at the end, and then you get uh, killed by one of the traps, well, good luck. You have to do everything again. Yeah, you could trigger a checkpoint here, but that would require you to fight the enemies, and that takes quite a while. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> Hank is getting baited uh, again. <laughs> let me do some tricks first. I can yeah, do it I for you if you want to. I mean, sure. Co-op strats. Let's go. Oh no, I'm getting cut off. Help! Uh, uh, almost good. Oh, oh, yeah, it's it's fine now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, there you there go. go. And not there. And then we just go up here. We gain a lot of height, and then we do something similar like before. As I mentioned before, we know the triggers for the next part and how to deload or load the next area. And we're going to do it similar here. So we know the trigger is around this corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go slightly here, trigger the next area. And you, as you can see, the previous part, oh, yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> the previous part vanishes, totally untended. And then we're, ah. sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's OK. The, the headset is a bit Yeah, I couldn't odd. see the other side of your head, so I didn't yeah, know where the ear was located. No, um, no worries. Yeah, so these um, platforms you can see that are extending out of bounds. What? Uh, yeah, sure. Now we just have to like shimmy up a bit because I don't. Come on. Need get up. Get this up. This is timed, by the way. You can see the runes disappearing there. Uh, uh, I'm yeah, not gonna get not it. That's not gonna make it. No. Oh. Uh, no. No. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's totally fine. We have. So yeah. As you can yeah. see, this is where we that's loaded. But why this room is not very forgiving. Yeah. But as I said, we since this is a marathon and this is. Also a showcase, so we just load, so we would normally climb up here and then we would be at this area. Yeah, so you could see the, the platforms that were out of bounds, so once you shoot these symbols, they like slide inbounds and that's how you're supposed to usually just uh, climb the area and then you would have to use your uh, grappling hook on these uh, grappling uh, targets that appear. Yeah. But doing that out of an airwalk can be very tricky, as we said. And instead, we just use the platforms that are higher up to get an airwalk because those ledges allow you to get an airwalk. Not every ledge does that. You have to get a stumble animation, and these do. Yeah. And then we also use these X axes that usually spawn enemies, but now they don't, um, to gain more okay. height. Yeah. So the, this was la the last platform. We don't need to shoot this thing anymore because we have enough height to just jump up there. There is also a little cool jump where you can just immediately go on this platform, but I'm not going to do that. It's, uh, you, you need to get the timing right, and only, only if you get the timing right, you save three seconds. And as you can see, I'm a very good pro here, so I'm not going to showcase that. <laughs> <laughs> What's about this? Oh, no, 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 trust me, I know what I'm doing. YOLO! <laughs> yeah, like, once you get past the first one, they're slower. <laughs> in succession, then you are going up the slope. So once you get past the first one, it's pretty easy. Um, and here we want to roll into the loading Oops. trigger uh, uh. of this area. So we basically deload the next area. No, the previous area. But yeah, yeah exactly like that. So once we now get out of, like right now, only the textures are deloaded in this previous area. But once we traverse through that area, nothing is loaded, so we can go all the way to the next mini-boss, the Torso, which I'm not sure we will fight <sighs> today, though. Yeah, we will not fight Torso. Okay. Um, but I can't promise how well this <laughs> part is going Yeah, there be. are a number of uh, skips for this boss. 
which is... I'm not sure which one we'll see today. This looks familiar so far, so this is the same concept as we did earlier. Uh, I'm, I'm to not gonna go for that crazy yeah. strat which was found <laughs> recently. Exactly. It, it looked pretty cool though. So this is, again, we want to deload the area the torso is in, which would deload the text. Uh, like that. But yeah, this like you have to have a pretty uh. precise angle here to hit the low trigger in the correct way. Uh, luckily, as you can see on higher frame rate, also the enemy AI sometimes uh, is a bit confused. <laughs> so <laughs> I if think you don't confused is uh, as a good high way. of an FPS, the usual they should attack you. I think it attacked you like once and then it gave up. So Wait. there we go. Okay. Yeah. So now we want to lose some height to get underneath the platform we were located on, and underneath that platform we can go out of bounds. Yeah. But of course, doing that without seeing where things are can be quite challenging. Uh, where am I? I think I'm already underneath. Yeah, yeah. I went definitely. too high. Yeah, I went too far. Damn it. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I think I need to roll up here to gain height. All I remember is that you have to roll forwards underneath the platform. Yeah, but uh, I was already That's too low, but I norm no normally <laughs> you can just roll in the corner to gain height again. So I get up on the room, but it's not working. You lost me. I have no <laughs> I'm I'm underneath, but I can't get... You're definitely up. underneath, yes. Okay, let me go back. Now I'm way too low now. Ah, oh, there you go. Now I'm getting height. Bit. Yeah, you can still see the, the aiming radical going for the, the torso boss. Uh, so, he's still there. <laughs> it's also quite interesting because obviously the boss music is fighting, but we don't fight the boss, we do some weird out-of-bounds movement with this super traumatic music. Totally normal. I think I'm yeah okay I got I got height again so this is what I wanted so I can do a reset up Okay this should be enough so I should hit a wall yeah there you go That's the side of the platform now we go to the So side now of I the go room. into that's the wall of the room and then we want to forward roll to kind of clip out of bounds underneath the platform No that was too much yeah, I, I gained a lot of height. Wait, now no! you're, <laughs> yeah, now you're on top, I was about to say. Yeah. Okay. Can I do this? <laughs> well, not with the torso, then. Torso, please, let me... Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I have to. Bye -bye. So luck luckily, <laughs> the lava is still loaded. <laughs> Spares us from having to press escape and uh, up arrow and enter and up arrow and enter. Yeah. Alright, so we will be at this corner and then we go out of bounds, but without seeing anything. Which is why we have this precise setup where you need to know how many rolls you need to do and what um, angle to take. Uh, I rolled against Tors, I was like, what is this little bump there? So I'm just gonna do it like this to speed it up, then we should be at the wall. Yes, we are. Okay, corner. And then. Roll like crazy, which didn't work. So we just do it again. Ah, come on. Gain some height. Ah. Should be fine, I think. Yeah. Oh no, I went if underneath. If you say so, I have no idea. No, I, I went underneath. I'll just try like this. That would have worked. I would have been angry. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm. Um... Uh, what? Sure, I guess. Well. I'll I'll give it another try. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We have saves. Yeah. The thing is, like, from this out of bounds, you would maintain the air walk to the end of the game, to the final yeah. boss. So it's actually a very big skip, like, distance wise. Yeah. So, so it might be a bit jarring to just load a, a save file and, oh, we're at the final boss. Yeah. That's why I'm gonna give it another shot. But if it's not working, then so be it. Yeah. Oh, hey. And hey, that can happen. That's Stop why. being rude. <laughs> You're hey, usually I'm, I'm under... Ah, no, never mind. Never this is the boss health. I was like, why am I not losing health? <laughs> wow, I'm invincible. 
<laughs> I'm invincible. Uh oh. Yep. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> nice crash rep. Yeah, that's why it's usually you're under somewhat of time pressure here to get the the deload because Torso doesn't like you. Yeah. yeah. Unless you're lucky with uh, AI being janky, then you don't need to worry about it at all, as you have seen before. There you go. Yeah. Bye bye. Oh. Okay, should be enough. Okay, hit the wall. I'm at the corner. Ah. Hey, hey, we did it! Yeah. Woo. Oh, thank you, thank you. This was horrible. <laughs> Four out of five. <laughs> All right, anyways, hey, I can actually show it off. So now we skip Torso, we will have this beautiful boss mu music all the time. And while we have this dramatic boss fight music, we're gonna go more out of bounds. So first of all, we're gonna gain some height here to load this area. Normally we could gain all the height there, but the problem is if we do, if we do that, we don't hit the trigger for this part. And now we need to do a lot of rolling up here. Yeah, you Until gain we get on height top. very slowly here. Yeah, it is a bit unfortunate. Uh, I think it should be fine. Then you go back, and now you can yeah. go out of bounds here. And we again have to go there just to hit the next loading trigger. Yeah. So we just go over here, boop, load up the next area. The previous area got deloaded. And then we just continue doing this until we are at the final boss fight. So we will not lose any more height, but the final boss is like a bit lower. As you can see, like it's at the very end of that tunnel there. So this requires another fall damage cancel. And that's the, the final boss arena. So. Okay, there you that's go. That's how it's done, exactly. Okay, and final boss fight. This is Natla, so Natla has uh, two phases. First one, she's airborne and you have to damage her wings. Uh, pretty much all there is to it. And it's not always that easy because the aiming uh, system in this game as you can see like it has automatic lock on. But in, especially in this fight it has a tendency to focus on her uh, torso instead of the wings, which like the torso doesn't get damaged at all. But I thought we've skipped the torso fight. My <laughs> Witze sind Spitze! Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's like basically all you do. As you can see, she like uses projectiles and a uh, melee attack as well. But uh, yeah, like it will take a bit more. You can like see in the top right, we uh, like she does take damage, but like the health bar will fill up in the second phase. So now one wing is gone. You can uh. tell that from uh, it not having a, an aiming aiming reticle anymore. Okay, there we that's go. That's the first phase. So now in the second phase, you again use adrenaline dodge, so you fill up her adrenaline meter. And then once she charges it, you, you uh, jump over her. <laughs> if you time it right. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> and then stun her and switch to a more damaging weapon. And you want to only... If you want to do the fast strats, you can uh, damage her only a little bit. So she doesn't lose her like adrenaline state, which would allow you to basically to cycle her. Yeah, but I think I messed it up already. Fine, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Smash. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's not gonna work because normally she would be in this so-called adrenaline state, and then you could do some more damage, and then you can just to cycle her. But I did too much damage, so it didn't work. So we just have to do it. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she really wanted to wind up. Like. <laughs> she just wanted to work out of it. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> But of course, the actual final boss is, is a QTE. So oh no! As it happens. Um, so yeah, if you fail this, uh, you, you don't have to do the entire fight, just have to repeat the QTE. Yeah, what have you really yeah and with that, uh, there was basically Nothing already the run. So now we're just gonna do this uh, QTE, and after we see the credits, we're done. Yeah, Tomb Raider Anniversary! Just walk on thin air, gravity is just an option. You and I didn't have to play it. <laughs> and you don't have to play it, yeah. <laughs> Uh. Also, best sentence coming up? No. I have it. I have it, yeah. I think that's actually the only left input for any QT in the entire run. That's what I remember. Yeah. No. I have it. I have it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Time yeah. Time coming up in like five seconds after we skip the cutscene. Coming up.
And time. Time. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Tomb Raider anniversary. Um, 4420. For not practicing, I'm okay with that. I mean, I got torso skip, so <coughs> that's that's good. And using safe cells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Vertical room and all that. It, it, it never happened. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah. I, I, I'm a father. I have I have no time. I have an excuse. Okay, you don't have one. So you, you're a gamer. You have time at the PC every day. So, <laughs> anyways, yeah. Tomb Raider anniversary. Hope you enjoyed it. Have fun. Enjoy the rest of the marathon. And bye bye. Bye bye.